Hey guys, what's going on? I, uh, Lance here. You guys know I've been, uh, making cooking videos and stuff like that. And this really isn't going to be a cooking video. It's going to be more of kind of an instructional video on how to do a few things in the kitchen and how I do some things in my kitchen uh, that help me out. Um, I'd like to talk with you guys about my brain injury stuff. I forget what I'm going to talk about sometimes. Um, know about getting healthy, uh, losing weight, getting shape, getting fit and everything. One of the big keys in that is hydration. Drink of water. I carry this water bottle with me or an algae like this, a one quart bottle with me pretty much everywhere. Um, I drink probably between a gallon and a half to two gallons a day. Two gallons is eight of these. Okay? Dump your pop and all that shit, that sugary stuff. And why isn't this Okay, there it's going. Um, so dump your pop and your sugary stuff and everything else and, and drink water, start piling water. You're going to feel better, your body's going to function better, and you're gonna help, it's going to help you shed weight. And it's going to help you in your performance in the gym and everything in other areas of life. And so, just to kind of help set an example stuff, I just filled this up right before I pushed record. And by the time at the end of this movie, I'm going to drink, or this little video, it, which is going to be less than 50 minutes, I'm going to drink this whole quart of water and probably start it on another one. One of the things I do when I get up in the morning, I drink one of these, I drink a quart of water. Before I go to bed at night, I drink a quart of water. Yeah, it makes me have to piss a lot and this and that and everything else, but that's great. My urine's always clean, I'm flushing out my system and everything else and that's what your body needs to be hydrated you need to be hydrated hydrate or die you know so especially now in the summertime i mean it's hot and humid you know we're getting into the high uh, high 90s and stuff pretty soon we'll be in the triple digits things like that and, and you know what i'm still going to be outdoors and doing active things i want to be hiking i want to be mountain biking i want to be doing all that stuff i want to be enjoying life and you know what hydration is a big key crucial part to that um I want to share with you guys something that uh, my good friend and recon brother, uh, Ernest Alonzo, uh, turned me on. He knows that I like to work out with kettlebells and stuff, and, and I do. Kettlebells are great. They're a great piece of equipment to have. I don't have a CrossFit gym anywhere near me. Uh, the closest gym with any cardio equipment or anything is uh, almost 30 miles one way. I'm not going there, okay? I got plenty of room right here. I can do things right here. I can work out and get in shape and build my body and everything and eat right and everything else. And save the money, I don't need to pay the membership. I'm not saying don't get a gym or this and that. Gyms are great. I like going. But right now, it's just not happening for me. So um, I'm doing kettlebell workouts uh, and, and so forth as part of my wads that I do. But I don't know a whole lot of moves with kettlebells. Pretty much all I've been doing is like the American kettlebell swing, you know, where you, you bring it all the way up. Well, my buddy, my recon buddy, Ernest Alonzo, turned me on to uh, an article in, in the June Muscle and Fitness, and it's called The Warrior Workout, and basically it's a workout based on using one kettlebell and a pull-up bar, excuse me, and a pull-up bar. That's all you need, really. One kettlebell, you can do a complete body workout with that. It's got a, uh, I believe, a four or five week workout program in here, and it's only a couple pages long, Let's see. Yeah, it's got a five. It's got a five-week workout plan, all based on using one kettlebell and a pull-up bar. Um, I'm going to be doing a little modified version of this and including my lancelots in it and things like that. Um, but I've learned some things already just reading the article about the principles and functions of the kettlebell and, and your muscles and how it works, and you know a little bit more about um, lactic acid and your muscles and build up and everything else. And one thing I learned from this is I'm no longer going to do the American style kettlebell swings where you know where you bring it all the way up like that. I'm going to be doing Russian style where you just come up to about right here, boom, just like that. Um, it's supposed to be better for you, less chance of uh, injury or anything like that. So if you guys haven't done it or you want to find out more about it, good article in there, pick that up. All right. Another thing we'll talk to you guys about first. Uh, first cookbook I bought 
or that I've got uh, since my I got my I had my brain injury and stuff um, is this paleo primer. This is kind of how my journey into paleo and uh, eating better and eating healthy and eating like I give a fuck actually started making a difference. Was this right here? Um, it's a good book. There's there's a lot of uh, good recipes in it. They're pretty easy. It's easy to understand. It's got good pictures and everything else. Um, pretty easy, like I said. I've been using it. That's what I started on. And that's what I started learning to cook with. Um, <clears throat> but it's the Paleo Primer. It's by, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the names. I'll just let you see them there. There you go. The Paleo Primer. It's a good book. Cool thing about this uh, cooking and stuff, like I said, I'm gonna be showing you some things how I do it in my kitchen. We're gonna talk about, I'm gonna show you how to cut an onion. Uh, if we have enough time, I'll get into some carrots or whatever, some other things. But, um, and not to insult anybody's intelligence or to think that you don't know how to cut it, but I'm learning myself. I'm, I'm, I'm having to teach myself how to do this, how to cook, um, how to do all this stuff. And and one of the things, I guess, the, in the, the story of that or whatever is, uh, Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'll probably edit that out. <laughs> Maybe not. Who knows? Who cares? Anyway, oh, um, remaining, you guys hear me say it sometimes, stuff like that. Remaining coachable and remaining teachable. Um, and, and having a teachable spirit. A good friend of mine, John Williamson, uh, early on in my, in my recovery from my brain injury, um, I would get frustrated a lot. I would get, like, like when I lost my train of thought just a second ago, I would have been so freaking mad about that before. I mean, I would have just been frustrated. And the problem with getting frustrated is that when you have that problem where my word recollection starts to kick in and things like that, if I get frustrated, all it does is compound those issues by a hundredfold. I mean, it just makes them worse, makes them off the fucking charts. Whereas if I can just stop, slow down, and regroup, kind of like what I did a minute ago. So I guess I won't edit that out because I want to show you guys. Um, then I can kind of, I can pick back up, and, and even if I don't, I just finally said, you know what, fuck it, I guess it wasn't that important. You know, if it was, it'll come back to me later. And I, and I know a lot of people do that and have that and everything else, um, but I didn't before, really, and that's why it bothers me is because it, it seems to me, it seems magnified, and maybe it is just magnified to me, but it's real to me. Um, but what he taught me was, was to, to remain coachable, remain teachable, and always have a teachable spirit. Um, you know, a lot of people, and I've met people, and I'm sure you have as well, that all they like to do is talk. Talk, 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 and talk about themselves, and, and, and pretty much everybody likes to talk about themselves in one degree or another. But, you know, it's... If you know how to talk, you should know twice as well how to listen. Remain coachable, remain teachable. Yes, sir. Hang on, excuse me. What? Okay. All right, I'll be up there in a little bit. Um, sorry. So, remain coachable, remain teachable. Uh, these are a couple books that I got at our local library here in uh, Broke Down Mayberry or whatever. Actually, it's not that bad of a town, but if we have these books here in our library, these paleo books, I guarantee you, you can find them in a the library close to you. If you don't want to go buy them, you want to try them out or maybe check them out before you buy them. Like this book right here, this is like a $40 book. I don't think that's a lot to expend on a book, especially if you're learning from it and you're getting knowledge and everything else. Um, but, you know, maybe you want to check it out like, that's what I did. I went and checked it out. I'm trying it out, and I'm liking it, and I probably will buy it because I want a copy of it. It's a good book. The uh, This one right here is a Primal Blueprint, Quick and Easy Meals. These are all paleo meals, uh, low-carb, gluten-free meals, and so forth that you can make in 30 minutes or less in your kitchen. This is a good book. That's also from the library right there.